Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mike here with another Humble Bundle. Now, if you haven't been following this channel a number of months back, I decided if it is a game development related bundle, I will go ahead and purchase it, go hands on with it and give you guys a good idea if it is worthwhile to pick up. Now, this one I was kind of looking at, you know, briefly when it was first released yesterday. I'm like, nah, it's not really game development related. But then I took a closer look at it. And two of these courses are directly about creating games. And then a lot of this is actually about the technology behind games. So I figured, okay, this is definitely relevant. I will cover it here on the channel. Now, if you're not interested in web based development at all, this is not the bundle for you. There's nothing here that is not web related in some way, shape or form. This is all about full stack web development. That's a bit buzzwordy. So what exactly does full stack mean? Other than sounding like a great porno name, a full stack is actually kind of related to what tasks you are performing as a web developer. So you have what are front end web developers, people that are working on like CSS, HTML, that kind of stuff, or responsive design designers, people doing UI work on the front end. And then you have the back end guys, the people working with the data or the node server and so on. And then what you have when you're a full stack developer is you work on both the front end and the back end, which again, sounds kind of porn-esque. So that is what this is all about. This is a collection of courses uh, from Zenva. If that name sounds familiar, they actually did one on programming and games uh, four or five months back, I think. Um, and it, it is a bunch of courseware. Now, the way that Humble works is you buy it in different tiers. So at the $1 tier, you get a collection of courses in this particular case. Um, and then there's the next tier up, which in this case is actually quite a bit higher as we're going to see. But if you buy that tier, you also get all of the tiers below it. The nice thing with Humble is you get to decide how your money is allocated. So you can have some of it go to Humble, some of it go to the producer, some of it go to certain charities, or some of it can actually go to support this channel, which by the way, if you do that, thank you very much. So let's jump in. We're first going to take a look at um, what the courses are at the different tiers. Then we're going to look at uh, what exactly you get inside of Humble, how you redeem the courses, and then we're going to take a look at one of the game development related courses to give you an idea of what you're getting in this particular case. So without further ado, let's jump in, take a look at the $1 tier here. We see you get introduction to Bootstrap, introduction to Next.js, uh, bite-sized HTML, bite-sized CSS, and bite-sized JavaScript. Now, most of those are pretty self-explanatory, but if you want, hover over it, click and you will get a full pop-up detail of what that course is all about. If you go up to the next tier, and again, this one is a pretty big jump. So this is almost 20 bucks. Um, so for $19 more than the first tier, you get the first tier as well as create interactive pages with JavaScript and the DOM API, uh, advanced JavaScript and ECMA script six, express for beginners, TypeScript for beginners, bite-sized jQuery, uh, bite-sized HTML5 game development. So there's one of the two game development courses, uh, the complete responsive web design course and learn Angular by creating web applications. And then if you jump to the final tier, so for about five bucks more at the $25 US tier, you also get the course uh, responsive admin pages with semantic UI, Node.js for beginners, uh, MongoDB for beginners, server-side rendered web apps using Node.js Express and MongoDB. I know there is an alphabet soup of acronyms and names being thrown at you. That is just the nature of HTML and JavaScript development these days. Create REST APIs with Express and MongoDB, build web applications with React, intermediate React and Redux, introduction to GraphQL, get and get GitHub, AWS deployment for Node.js applications, is your development for Node.js applications, and the next game app, uh, project-based Next.js game website. Now, I would actually honestly tell you straight out that the technology you would probably work with if you are using modern day JavaScript or HTML are here. It's things like Node, Express, MongoDB, React, and so on. So they have hit the most popular things that are out there. There's a pretty comprehensive number of web technologies being covered here. So what exactly do you get when you buy here? Well, first off, you'll see here, you get a product key and that's really kind of it. You see, it'll say, click here to reveal your product key. You click there, you get your product key. As you can see, I've edited mine out. And then you click that redemption link, the click here to redeem your um, Zenva code. And then once you click that, it will bring you to basically their web store. And this is a little misleading. Uh, it's all of, so this is for the top tier. So if you bought the $25, uh, you get a different collection. If you go down the different tiers, you get different keys, obviously. Uh, you go through, you click buy now, it will bring you to a page. Now, obviously at this point, you need to have signed up with an account. You can use your Gmail account or whatever to get to this point. Uh, you do buy now. Hope I haven't broke things. 
Cannot add another to your, okay. It brings you to buy now, you put your code in and you click done and then you're good to go. Uh, and then here is your code. So as I mentioned, they, they did a humble intro to code a while ago. So I've already got that on my account. The new one that you will get here is humble web development bundle tier three. So you could do it as a course like beginning to end if you have uh, hundreds of hours to commit here. Or you could come on in here and do a drop down, show all of the individual courses that are in here. And so like I said, I'm gonna go to the uh, bite-sized HTML5 game development course as the example. And when you open it up, here is what you get. So you have a curriculum page with all of the course pieces. A lot of them are uh, video based. Now this is a pretty short course. This is about maybe a half an hour in length. So that's what they mean by bite-sized in this particular case. Uh, you get course files. This is a uh, zip files with all the projects and the assets, et cetera, they're gonna be working on with this particular course. And then the curriculum, you go through the various different videos that are here. So for example, here I am in the development video curriculum and I'm not gonna actually play it because I don't want to uh, get into copyright issues or anything like that. But this is a, a guided video tutorial like you would get on you know YouTube from a professional source anyways. But you'll notice here, you've also got course home where we can navigate back to where we were. Uh, the curriculum, which is the, uh, the page we were just on. And then the cool part is lesson notes. And this is basically a text companion that goes with each chapter in the uh, courseware. So all of the tools and such that you're using, step-by-step -step instructions that you just saw in the video are all here in the course notes. So if you're all about uh, text over video, there's actually this, you can do this entire courseware using the text versions instead. So say here we go to the rendering sprite video and we're jumping to the next part in the curriculum. And then I'll go to the lesson notes and you'll see we have a step-by-step, -step, here's the code here, here's explanations with graphics and so on of this, um, this actual um, course. So it's a lot like what I do with a lot of my tutorials where I will do a video version and then link over to Game From Scratch or Dev Game with a text step-by-step -step version. They do the same thing with their coursework. Now you'll noticing that the ones here that are the bite-sized ones, uh, they are pretty short. So you're gonna find that these other courses, uh, everything that isn't in the bite-sized category. So all these guys, uh, bite-sized, 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 those are like 20 minute, 30 minute tutorials. Whereas if we go to some of these other ones, they are a fair bit longer. So for example, we'll go to this project-based Next.js games one. Uh, where did we go? All right, project-based, oh, they're not in alphabetical, okay. Well, there it is, project-based Next.js. So we'll click that guy. And we will go ahead, here you see, so this is more like, yes, it's actually not as long as some of their other courses, but you're still looking about probably an hour worth of content in that one. So they are varying in size. Now the nice thing, once again, is for every single one of them, you do get the courseware for it, and then you do get, uh, like in this case, you're seeing the source code and the slides behind it, but you also get uh, the notes if they're relevant and the source code as it is and a, a text-based explanation of everything you're working on. So if you're one of those people that isn't really all that keen on the whole, um, a video based tutorial. There's actually full text here as well. And so that's it. That is the, uh, da, da, da. what is it actually called again? Let's go with the full name. It is the full stack. I should have remembered that uh, web development tutorial series. They say it's worth $1,125. Uh, it's kind of like other training materials. You never see it charged at full price, but it would definitely be uh, a couple hundred dollars worth of courseware here anyway. So if you're looking at learning either front-end web development today, back-end web development, or game development, like that one was actually using Phaser as the library, um, it's not a bad choice, especially, again, if you're not interested in the browser, this one is a complete and utter waste of time. But if you are interested in learning some web development, this course could be useful for you. I'd be interested in hearing, this is the second one now from Zenva. I'd like to know what you think of their learning materials. I'm not actually in the market to learn stuff, so judging other people's tutorials is kind of tricky for me. So I'd love to hear if you've gone through their stuff, uh, what do you think of it, and you know, how does it compare to you know the, the other training materials that are out there in your humble opinion. All right. That's it for now. That is the humble uh, full stack web development bundle. At least hopefully two or three of you find that interesting and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.